My name is Robert Tangway. I am the founder of EmissionsTax.org and I wanted to uh, make this video to explain to you uh, my plan I've been working on for an emissions tax and how it will help save the environment, fight global warming and climate change and uh, create jobs and other uh, good aspects of uh, the issues that we face as Americans and, and humans uh, in this day and age. Uh, first of all, what is an emissions tax? Well, an emissions tax would be a tax on all emissions um, that are uh, bad to society uh, and our environment, such as our carbon dioxide, uh, so CO2 emissions, you hear about those a lot, uh, sulfur, uh, carbon monoxide, which is much more deadly, that comes from car exhaust, um, and uh, lead, uh, if much of it is emitted anymore, um, also uh, other greenhouse gases as, as such uh, that come from uh, cows and, and other livestock, uh, which are heating up the earth and uh, causing climate change, uh, such as flooding, drought, and other maladies of human nature. Uh, there's three parts to an emissions tax, and I want to go over them briefly uh, with you so you can understand, because I get a lot of pushback about this plan, uh, and it's usually people just don't want a tax, and they're afraid of what a tax uh, would do to them uh, as Americans, we, uh, 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 we, we like to fight taxes, and um, that's something that I hope to change. I believe that taxes are good for certain things. I mean, we all know we have to pay taxes. But anyways, the emissions tax will do three main focuses. Uh, one would be actually collecting an emissions tax and in order for us to collect an emissions tax first we would need to know uh, what are the emissions that we want to tax such as carbon dioxide, monoxide, um, sulfur and other greenhouse gases so we would have to do a study on those and then also study uh, what contents are emitted uh, from uh, various uh, use uh, products such as gasoline and um, uh, heating oil, uh, livestock, what's emitted from there, uh, natural gas burning, and, and another part of my plan would be to appropriately uh, display those uh, so that consumers can make a decision when uh, deciding whether or not to go with an emissions tax. I mean, with a, a product or service uh, for that emissions tax. So, um, once we have all that done, uh, it would be labeled and the tax would be enacted. And uh, from that point, uh, another uh, aspect that people complain about is that this would be a tax on the poor. It would not be a tax on the poor uh, or middle class. In fact, we would reduce income taxes and employment taxes across the board at all tax brackets. Um, this would create more incentive to work. Uh, people that uh, don't want to work because of the taxes um, would have more incentive to work uh, and they'd also have more choice of where their ta tax dollars uh, go for. For instance, uh, you know, maybe I might ride my bicycle to to my job, which is five miles away, rather than drive my vehicle, uh, because I would save that money uh, on paying the emissions tax and save the environment. I'd be healthier, uh, happier, and there'd be less smog on the road, which would in turn doubly make me happier because on my bike ride, I'd be uh, breathing in less uh, pollutants. Um, the third part, as far as uh, what the emissions tax would do, it would create jobs, tons of high paying green jobs and also entry level jobs for those uh, who have uh, 
not the, the skills or abilities, uh, but have the hard work ethic to uh, plant trees uh, or clean up the streets and such. So just to go over this again, I want to make this video really short and simple. It is my first run. Uh, an emission tax will do three things. One, it will tax emissions and therefore price them uh, and make them more expensive. So any pollution that you want to emit will have a price tag on it and you can either pay that price or not pay that price and uh, do something else with the emission. The second part would be to reduce income taxes and employment taxes to create more jobs and also give the consumers and businesses incentive to not, per, uh, not pollute and to uh, research and find other processes or functions in their life, in their business to reduce emissions and uh, help the environment. Otherwise, they would uh, fail, in my opinion. Uh, and then the third part would be to uh, create jobs with the emissions tax by funding uh, green uh, research, green jobs uh, in the government, and then also having those jobs for the unemployed uh, to get back into the workforce at a livable wage, uh, doing something that has a future, that provides fulfillment, uh, not just a paycheck. Um, that's for the government section. But the private section with, with this tax would actually create uh, jobs themselves. The private sector would create these jobs out of necessity because uh, they would have to, uh, instead of uh, doing business as usual and using the labor of fossil fuels and other polluting energies, they would have to use the labor of the mind and uh, hard work. Uh, for instance, instead of just digging uh, a large plot of land and just clear or clear cutting, uh, they could do more selective uh, labor with human labor instead of machines, which tend to uh, go through and clear cut or just level areas. And they could use shovels in the natural geography of uh, the environment. Uh, these are just some uh, of the many reasons why, but in a nutshell, an emissions tax will reward efficiency and help our future uh, be brighter, not just in the United States, but worldwide. I appreciate your support. Please put any questions you have in uh, the comments below. Share this, like this, uh, visit our various uh, website resources, and get involved. Uh, I want this to be a fair and balanced uh, plan. I don't have all the answers, I don't have all the numbers, but in essence, I believe that this plan for an emissions tax is balanced and it makes sense. We just need to put the numbers into action and uh, make it a reality. Thank you. Again, Robert Tangway with emissionstax.org.